Hi there YouTube, it's Becky with the Dorky Thrifters and I'm going to do a quick what's sold on eBay video for you tonight. Um, I did the first half of December but I never got around to doing the second half because I've been really busy with sourcing and listing and I had some part time work come in that was a real blessing and so I've been busy with that kind of stuff. Um, my listings were down, my store was down to like under 400 listings. And I typically like to keep it at least over 500, if not more. So um, my sales have been down because of that. So the second half of December, I didn't really have a lot of sales um, because of Christmas and because I didn't have a lot of stuff in my store, I guess. Um, so I've been working on that, and now I'm up to over 650 listings. So happy with that. Um, so sales are starting to pick up again for me, which is good. But I wanted to go through, um, so in, let's see, the second half of December, I had 34 items sell on eBay, which would be the December 15th through the 31st. The total cost of those items, uh, my purchase cost was $106, and my profit after eBay fees and um, PayPal fees and shipping and all that um, was $480. So... $480 for two weeks, not terrible, um, not the best either. My average price point per item was $14.10, so that was down. I, I typically like to keep that um, at least $20. Um, I think that's a good price point to, to um, strive for. So this is basically the spreadsheet that I've been using for a long time, and I like it. it I made it myself, and it, it does the trick it keeps track of everything it's pretty easy to import all the information because basically all I have to import is what's in the white and the yellow and the green calculate for me okay so of those 34 items that sold that half of December I'm going to share with you 18 items that are the more interesting and better sales um, I think it's mostly eyeglasses this time so I'll get started um, this is a pair of Marcon prescription eyeglass frames um, these I purchased at a thrift store for $2, um, and I purchased the case for a dollar. I find the cases at thrift stores usually, or I, I buy them at the Dollar Tree sometimes for a dollar each. Um, I never spend more than a dollar on an eyeglass case. So I just factor that into the cost, so my total cost here was $3. Um, these I did take a best offer of, offer on. Um, in December, the last half of December, my sales were really down, so I did put best offer on all of my listings, and I don't typically do that because I find that I just get a lot of low-ball offers usually, and it just seems to move things faster if I just leave it off and not even mess with it. Um, but I did have best offer on in December, so I that's one reason why my price point was so low in December was because I was taking a lot of offers and trying to move some old inventory that I had for a long time. and and just make you know any sales I could at that point. Um, so I took a best offer of $25 on these. Okay, this is a pair of Flexon Airlock prescription eyeglasses. And those are also Marcon name brand Airlock 2. Um, these I purchased at a thrift store for $3. I had a case that matched that I sent them off in. And let's see, I took a best offer of $30 on this pair. Okay, here is an old, it was just little, like about this big, and it was a little genie lamp, and it was brass, and it was hand carved. Um, I had it forever. So I took a best offer of $15 on that, just to get it out of here, I guess. Um, it was really cute. I found it in a storage unit, so there was really no cost. And another pair of eyeglasses is this pair of DKNY. Um, this is a pair that I found on eBay. I bought a lot of um, trashed eyeglasses on eBay. Um, it was just hundreds of, of eyeglasses, and um, out of the lot, I was able to pick out several pairs that were even, you know, worth fixing up and, and selling. And so I figured I paid about two dollars and sixty-seven cents per pair out of that lot. Um, there's a few pairs that I sold um, out of that lot here. So um, 
And then the, the eyeglass case was a dollar. So $3.67 can um, invested and they sold for a best offer of $25 plus shipping to Australia. So the person paid for shipping on that as well. A pair of candies, prescription eyeglasses came out of that same eBay lot. So I paid about $2.67 for them plus the case was about a dollar. And um, those I took a best offer of $20 on. And they also paid for express shipping because they needed them right away. So they paid for priority mail shipping. So it wasn't free like it says here. Um, they did pay for the shipping on that one. All right, here is a Tweety Bird tea kettle. Um, had Tweety Bird face on both sides. It was really cute. It was in pretty nice condition. I think it had one little scuff on it somewhere. Oh, right there one little break but it was Warner Brothers um, 2000 so it was a little bit old um, I paid five dollars for this at the storage unit or any the storage unit. I paid five dollars for this at the thrift store and it sold for thirty dollars but they also um, paid almost fifty dollars to have it shipped to France so <laughs> <laughs> the sale was actually like $80. It was like $82 or something ridiculous for this tea kettle. Um, and I made a few dollars on shipping. I think shipping actually cost me about $40. So I made a few dollars, extra dollars there as well. So, All right, this is a pair of Stetson Xyloware prescription eyeglasses. Um, Xyloware's name is on a lot of different brands I've seen. So um, it's, it seems to be a pretty good brand to pick up if you see it. Um, I had an eyeglass case to go with them, so total cost invested here was $3, and they sold for a best offer of $20. About $20. Okay, this was my best sale of this period. Um, this is a pair of vintage Porsche eyeglasses. Let's see if I can find the, the name on there and show you. They were by Carrera, and they were not prescription. They were um, just regular sunglasses. Pretty decent condition. Um, the lenses were, they had very few scratches. These came out of that same eBay lot that I was talking about before where I paid about $2.67 per eyeglass. Um, and I ended up taking a best offer of $75 on these. And this is a pair of Brighton prescription sunglass frames. They didn't have any lenses in them, but they were for prescription sunglasses. Um, these Brighton eyeglasses are always really unique, um, handmade is what they claim right there and really pretty these I also got on eBay um, I bought a lot of Brighton eyeglasses on eBay and I paid about four dollars per pair and these let's see I took a best offer of thirty five dollars on them all right and this is a pair of Augie I did have a case to go with them that I found separately you can see the name there Augie and these I paid three dollars for at the thrift store and a dollar for the case so four dollars and they sold for a best offer of twenty five dollars and this is a pair of Oliver Peoples eyeglasses prescription eyeglasses I bought these for three dollars and the case for a dollar um, these shipped to the Never Netherlands so they paid for shipping on these and I took a best offer of twenty five dollars plus shipping I'll show you the name on those. Oliver Peoples has a very distinct um, logo. If you don't, if you're not familiar with the brand, um, you can see it there on the eyeglass case itself. It's got like two circles and two triangles and two squares. So if you ever see that, um, sometimes you know the the name itself might get mar rubbed off, but you can still see that logo. Um, they usually have it right there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like right there on the end. It's a little damaged but um, they are definitely a good brand to pick up I've sold them for hundreds of dollars before but this pair I had for a long time so I'd lowered the price down I guess it just wasn't a sought-after um, frame okay this is a pair of vintage silhouette um, if you ever see these vintage silhouette plastic frames always pick them up they always sell not you know with prescription eyeglasses they don't always sell right away sometimes it's you know they'll be listed for months if not you know a year or longer say hi hi okay so as I was saying um, these vintage silhouette plastic frames they always have like really cool 
um, let me see if I can find a better picture. Kind of a design on them. There's the name, Silhouettes. And you can kind of see that. Um, they always sell really well for me. These I took a best offer of $18. I'd had them for a while. Um, but like I said, they always, they eventually sell. I've sold several of this type of frame right here. Um, I paid $2 for them at the thrift store. And this is a pair of Warby Parker eyeglasses. These I got at the thrift store for $2.50 including the case. So it did have a Warby Parker case. There you can see that. And these I took a best offer of $25 for those. I like the case with the turquoise inside. I think it's pretty here. This is an Otterbox Utility Series um, case with like lots of different straps and I don't know. I found it at the thrift store. I paid $5 for it. I had a lot of interest, but um, everybody was making me really low offers on it. It came with all these different clips and straps and cool things. So finally, I just took a best offer of $18 on that one. Okay, and this is a pair of Brooks Brothers prescription eyeglasses. I paid $3 for these at the thrift store. Brooks Brothers usually sells pretty well. So it's real small. It's really hard to see Brooks Brothers name, so you have to look really carefully because it's always really, really tiny. And sometimes it's on the outside too. You can see right there, Brooks Brothers. And a lot of times it is in the cursive on the outside, real fine. So really hard to see. So you gotta look really carefully at eyeglasses sometimes. I know another brand that's really hard to see is Giorgio Armani. It, they, they print it so thin and fine that it, it gets overlooked sometimes. I know one time I found a pair of Giorgio Armani rimless eyeglasses that I almost passed on at the, the, at the thrift store, but because I didn't see the name, but then um, I just kept looking at them and I'm like, these are really nice quality. And so I decided to get them anyways, even though I didn't think they were um, branded. And when I got home and looked at them closer with my um, with my jeweler's loop, I, I discovered that they were actually Giorgio Armani and they ended up selling for like $80. So I'm really glad that I picked them up anyways. I almost passed on them. But this pair sold for $30. All right, this is a pair of, or a set of eight, drawer pulls. So these are like little vintage car looking drawer pulls. See that? And they were just little, I paid $1.50 for all of these at the thrift store. You can see they were a little bit scuffed up there. Some of the paint was kind of chipping off a little bit. So they weren't in perfect condition. Um, they were definitely used, but they sold for $20 plus shipping. So a pretty good little sale there. This is a Blood Oath whiskey box. My husband picked this up. It was a wooden box, um, just a wooden box that I guess had bottles of whiskey in it at one time. And I guess they are collectible, this Blood Oath. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. He brought it home, I listed it, and it sold for best offer of $30. I think he paid about $5 for it. And this is a false graph snack set. I found this at the Goodwill for $3. It was brand new in the box. Hadn't even been opened. You can see the name there. Pistole. I don't know. It was just a, a little plate and a little bowl um, in the box, just like that. And this sold literally like within hours of me listing it. So I listed it for $30 and it sold immediately. So that was a good sale. Okay, and this is the last thing I'm gonna show you today. This is a pair of Coach prescription eyeglasses. Let's see, I found these. Um, okay, these I bought in a lot of Coach eyeglasses on eBay and I paid about $5 per pair. They were in really nice condition. With Coach, you can typically, well, first of all, they had the, um, the nose pieces that said Coach. And then on the inside, they had the Coach logo there and then of course they had the coach design there and then one thing that always stands out for me with coach eyeglasses is this little this little circle Let's try that again that little circle right there little metal circle on the earpieces is always there um, on every pair of coach eyeglasses that I've ever seen now I have seen that on other eyeglasses as well um, so that doesn't mean that they're coach just because they have that but it's a good sign that they are coach if they have that, if you see that.
All right, so these I paid $5 for, and I sold them for a best offer of $40. So that's all my sales I have for today to show you. Um, so I just wanted to say um, a quick thank you to all the new subscribers. I know I haven't really gotten many videos out, but I do have a lot of videos that I've been kind of working on. Um, I've got one series that I'm going to start working on, or I have already started working on, and it's um, basically like... I'm going to do a bunch of them, but five things that I always look for in a thrift store. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to take you along as I go thrift shopping and show you what I find and then talk about um, five things that I just always look for. So I have kind of a small space because since we live in an RV, so I, I typically look for little things, but not always. There are some things that I look for that are a little bit bigger. So um, I'm going to start that series soon. I'm also going to start a series on um, selling from an RV. I know I kind of tried to start that before and I didn't get very far with it. Um, but I want to do that um, about selling from a smaller space and um, how we organize it. Um, just basically how it works. Because I know a lot of people have, you know, entire rooms devoted to online selling. selling and I don't have that luxury here. I only have, a, you know, a small limited amount of space. The nice thing about living in an RV is there is a lot of built-in storage. You know, but... Um, but you really have to maximize your, your space. So that's one thing I want to start doing. Um, I want to start doing the, the series on, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably do five or six of them on five things. Each one will be five things I always look for and um, different things you can do with the, um, with the items, different ways you can sell them, different ways you can um, profit on them. And these are going to be profitable things. These aren't going to be like little piddly things like, like I said before, I like my price point to be $20 or more. If I'm going to spend my time photographing, listing, shipping, all that, I like to make at least $20 per item, average. So that's my goal. And then I also wanted to say thank you to all the people who have recently donated to our GoFundMe page as well because that is still helping a lot. Um, we did have some expenses come up that we were not expecting, um, mainly with the funeral home, um, some things that we th thought that the insurance was going to cover and they didn't end up co covering. And I don't know if it was a um, miscommunication or what, but um, I thought that the funeral home was paid for and done, and it turns out it is not. So I'm that's one thing I'm trying to get taken care of and, fi and finalized. And then um, we also had some issues with our vehicle, uh, a truck that we purchased um, in order to pull the fifth wheel broke down so um that's been in the shop so the the gofundme um donations that are still trickling in have been a lot of help and so i really appreciate that and so i just wanted to say thank you again to everybody who's helped us there and um it's just really been a blessing to us and is greatly greatly appreciated um and i guess with that i'm going to wrap up this video and get it posted Again, I apologize. Um, I've had a lot of messages asking, you know, how are you? Are you okay? What's going on? Why aren't you posting? Just been busy. That's all. Just been busy. Um, and like I said before, I've really been focusing on sourcing and listing and trying to get my eBay sale, my eBay store beefed back up. And so um, that's it for me. Um, yeah. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks again for watching my videos. I really appreciate all the new subscribers and everybody's support and take care.